Yeah. So let's now discuss about where exactly the future perfect tense could be used, right? See, future perfect tense is uh, used to talk about any action which will actually take place in future, and it is it is assumed, it is thought that it would be completed in the future, right? Action which will occur in future and it will also be completed in the future only, and it is often used along with the time expressions. Now, what are those time expressions? Which like when they have by then, by that time, by midnight, by the end of the year. So they give these time expressions. Okay, fine. By that time, this action would have been completed, right? Say for example, I will have reached Delhi by midnight. So here, by midnight says by the time midnight will happen, I will have reached. The action of reaching Delhi will complete in future by. Midnight. So that is why they have used the uh, future perfect tense. Now, the there are certain rules which we have to remember about the future perfect tense. In that case, helping verb will always be will have, and the third form of the verb or the past participle form of the verb will be used. So will have will plus past participle is equal to future perfect. Right. So next slide. So now the structure will be what in the positive. See, you it could be used future perfect tense could be used in both the positive as well as the negative sense. So in the positive sense, what will be the structure is first you'll have the subject, then you'll have the helping verb, then the main verb which is the past participle form, and then the object of the sentence. So the helping verb will be in the form of will have. And the main verb will be the past participle form, right? So, like she will have finished the work by Wednesday. So, by Wednesday is talking about the time expression, and will have finished is talking about a positive situation. I will have left for home by the time he gets up. So, by the time is talking about the time expression. Will have left is again talking about the positive situation only. You will have started a job, right? So, will have started is a Uh, like future perfect tense clear so let's move ahead to the next slide where we'll discuss about the negative sense so in the negative structure will be what in between the two verbs of the helping verbs we will have a not over there and then the past participle form of the verb so we'll have will not have plus the third form of the verb or a past participle would be used clear so she will have finished the work by wednesday so by wednesday is the time will have finished is the future perfect tense so we can say i will not have completed my work by the time he gets up so by the time again helps us to know that the future perfect tense can come and will and have ki beech mein in the middle of will and have we are having not you will not have started the work by this weekend by this weekend is again an important expression to know that because it's talking about the time and in between will and have started we have a not over here for the negative expression clear so the another place where the future perfect tense could be used is the interrogative sentences in the interrogative sentences first the helping verb will come then after the helping verb the subject then the helping verb plus the main verb will come that main verb will be in the past participle form and then the object like will subject plus have plus third form of the verb or a past participle and then the object right will she have finished the work by wednesday so by wednesday is the time will because we are asking a question she have finished so see is the subject over here will i have left for home by the time he gets up so by the time again the time expression will is the thing and i is the subject will you have started a job have started and will in the middle you have you so now let's discuss about the usage of the future perfect expressions so the first one is we can use the future perfect tense for some actions which are completed before something else in the future so in the future we will talk about two actions right so we'll talk about two actions in the future the first action as well as the second action before the second action takes place the future perfect tense will be taken on the action which is completed in the first in the future it's almost the same like the a uh, past perfect where the two actions will be taking place in uh, would have taken place in the past the first action will be in the past perfect and the second in the simple uh, past so here also we will talk about two actions right the action which is completed before something else in the 
future that will be in the future perfect tense right so the future perfect uh, shows that uh, something will occur before another action in the future right and it will also say that something will complete in future before a specific time in the future so here also the specific time will be given right like all the other specific uh, examples of the future perfect so by next november so here the specific time is given over here right so the moment i read uh, by next november i know it's talking about the specific time so when it is talking about the specific time i will have received my promotion so definitely it makes sense because a specific time is given i can have the future perfect tense over here so this is one key to the question which i'm telling when you look at the question and in the question a tense related question is given and in that a specific time is given so if you have to choose between the future perfect tense go ahead and use it will she have will she, will she have learned enough english to communicate before she moves to new york so before she moves moves to new york is the second action a specific time right a specific second action has been given so before that will she have learned so will she have learned it's a question format so that structure is also fine in between the two verbs of the helping verbs we have the subject because it's a question format so the format is perfectly fine <coughs> and a specific time is also given over here by the time i finish this course is anil nayar classes i will have perfected my english so by the time is the phrase which talks about the specific time right so it talks about the specific time i could have the i can have the future perfect tense over here so i will have perfected so will have perfected perfectly fine over here now another thing is like you have to remember in the future no time clause will be there wherever you will use the wherever the time clause is there in that clause the future perfect tense or no future any future tense will not be there in the time clause See, by the time i will finish is incorrect because i will finish is the future tense and by the time is the talking about the time so it's talking about the time clause we cannot have the future tense over here i will have perfected my do not use the future tense use the simple present tense by the time i finish this course so you see by the time is the time clause right a specific time is given so this has become the time clause in the time clause finish is the simple present tense it's in the simple present tense and then the second clause will have the will have perfected so whereas always remember in the time clause only the simple present tense will come no future tense in the first specific time clause right like all the future forms the future perfect also cannot be used in the clauses which are beginning with the time expression this is this is very very important so you see all the future forms any future form will not be there in the clause which is having the specific time so in the time clause no future tense will be used whenever you see so pay attention towards the next list when we have when while before after by the time as soon as if unless etc instead all the things we cannot use the future tense instead of future perfect the present perfect is used in them either simple present or the uh, present perfect and then the time time clause the present tense will be used right next one the present perfect continuous tense is there so present perfect continuous tense now the like, let's see the example so there is a paint on rani's clothes so is 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 a simple present tense over here let's analyze the sentence right it's a simple present tense now she has been painting her bedroom so that means she has been painting painting is in the continuous form has been is the perfect continuous right so present perfect present perfect is has been so here we have the present plus perfect so present tense may be used the has been is used for the perfect continuous ke liye we have the ing form so has been painting is the present perfect continuous right so now the next question comes where exactly we can use this present perfect continuous so when you know that the activity started in the past the that action started in the past but it is still going on at the time of speaking when you are talking about that action at that time also the action is going on but that action started some time back in the past it, the action started in past but it is still now going on that time we will use the present perfect continuous tense 
Now, it could be used for same like all the other tenses. It could be used for the positive as well as the negative sense. So, when it is used for the positive, we'll have the subject. Then we'll have has or have plus been plus verb plus ing form. Right? Along with that, the another thing which you have to remember is you will have some time clause like since or for. Either you see a since or you see for. Whenever you see since, for and all or any time is mentioned, that time the perfect continuous tense could be used. In the negative sense, you will have the subject, then the has, have plus in between the two verbs of the helping verb, you will have the not. Right? Because it's a negative sentence. Then the same structure is there. Again to focus on is you can have since and for or any time. Time limit could be given. Clear? The next one. Usage of for and since. Now for is used when the complete time. The total time is given. That time we'll use for. Right? Since is used when the starting time is given. So if the total time is given, we will use for. But if uh, the starting time is given, we will use since. So like Make a note of it like for is total time and for since you will have the starting time clear. Now if it is given uh, if it is given for what total time period the activity is continued and we use for but the starting time of the activity is given and begin we give it a since right. I have been studying for 5 hours. Now for 5 hours is a complete time is given. Starting time is not given. So if starting time is not given, just the total hours like for 5 hours, for 3 hours, for 10 hours, then it will be 4 is fine. But if it say I have been studying since 5 o'clock in the morning. So you have given the starting time over here. That 5 o'clock in the morning you started studying. So that time we will use the since over here. Clear? So, when the total time is given, we will use for. When the starting time is given, we will use the since in the future perfect tense. Clear? Perfect continuous tense. Sorry, not future but perfect continuous tense. Next one. Now, perfect continuous tense may, again, we are dealing with the use of for and since only. Like for numeral plus adjective if you are having. For plus numeral adjectives plus in use, hours, days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries, anything could be given. For a long period, long time, for moment, for while, for hours, for weeks, for years. Now, with the since, you will have a name of the day. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, month, year, time, yesterday. Name of a season, festival, name of an event. Since the stages of life, since childhood, right? The parts of the day, since afternoon, since morning, since evening, all this. So again, the same thing is the basic concept still remains same. For is used for the total time. If the total time, it's very simple. Total time is given, you use for. If uh, the starting time is given specifically, then you will use since. That's it. Next one. Now, past perfect continues. For the past perfect continues, uh, tense can say that something like or any action started in the past and continued up and up till uh, like until another time in the past. So it started at some time in the past. We don't know the starting time but it started until another time in the past. So it's related to the present perfect continuous. However, the duration does not continue until now. So in the present perfect continuous, that continuity is there. Like till now this is going on. But this past perfect continues. It started in the past. It continued for some time in the past and it got completed also in the past at a specific time. Right? So, it stops before something else in the past. So, it continued for a longer time and then the second action started. So, before that second action started, this section was actually stopped. Right? So, the duration does not. So, the duration does not continue until now. It stops before something else in the past. Let's have a look at it. They had been talking for over an hour before Ravi arrived. So, two actions are there. Had been talking because this is the first action. Right? They started talking sometime in the past and they continuously kept on talking in the past when the second action occurred. So, this is the first action which we are talking about. This is the first one. Right? It started in the past and they started talking in the past and they kept on talking for a certain period of the time till the second started action started. The second action was Ravi arrived. So Ravi arrived, right? Before Ravi arrived, the, they started talking sometime back in the past. They continuously kept on talking for some time but the action completed before the second action. Clear? In the, in the past only. She had been working at that company for three years. When it went out of business. 
So there are two actions which are happening in the past. First one is they, he, she had been working at that company. So that means she started working in the past, sometime in the past and she kept on working for that particular company before that company went out of the uh, business. So first action is there, it continued and it ended before the second action happened. Right, so second action is went out of the business. Clear again in this one, you see the pre, though both the see over and R for o, over and R is a complete time. So complete time is given, so for is used. So here also for three years, a complete time is given, no starting time, but a complete time is given, so for is used. Clear. How long had you been waiting to get on the bus? So again, two actions are there. Had you been waiting? Had been waiting is the first action. So you started waiting sometime back in the past. You continuously kept on waiting before the second action occurred. So by the time the second action occurred, you finished the first action. So first action was this and the second action is get on the bus. Clear? This is the second action. So before the second action, the first action was completed. Mike wanted to sit down because he had been standing all day at work, right? So ha he had been standing. So had been standing is the first action he started standing like he stood sometime back in the past and then continuously kept on standing the whole day. But before the second action of sitting down has happened. Clear? So three points. So one is the past perfect continuous. It will, uh, it will, it started sometime back in the past and it continued, continued for some time in the past, but it completed before the second action. Clear? And for and since, for will be used when a complete time is given. Since will be used when the starting time is used. Clear all of you. Next one. Structure of the sentence for positive as well as the negative. Again, every time they'll have the same thing. You'll have the subject plus had been plus work plus ing plus object for or since and the nine negative sentences will be there. So in negative sentences, what will happen? In between the had and been, the not will be used. And then the remaining sentence structure will remain same. That had been plus verb plus ing form of the verb plus object for or since. <clears throat> Using the past perfect continuous before any action in the past is the way to show cause and effect. So now cause of something in the past when you use. So past perfect continuous could be used to show the cause effect. So to show the cause and the effect. I was tired because he had been jogging. So he had been jogging. Sometime back he started getting uh, started uh, the jogging action. It continued till the second action of getting tired was there, right? So this is the first action. This is the second action. So first action will be in the past perfect continuous. Second first action is in the simple past. Sam gained weight because he had been overeating. So had been overeating is the first action which is in the past perfect continuous and gained weight is the second action which is in the simple past but see the relativity between or the uh, relationship between the two clauses the second clause in both the sentences is giving the cause and the uh, first one is the talking about the effect so cause effect effect uh, relationship is going on over here clear next sentence next slide future perfect continuous now future perfect continuous will also say that sometime the action will start sometime in the future, right? And it will continue up till the another event in the future. So they will in this sentence also two events will be there, right? The first event will start in the future. It will continue for some time in the future and it will be over before the second action which will start again in the future. Both the actions will start in future only. But the first one will start in the uh, future. It will continue for some time and it will get over before the second action starts in future. Right? And always remember in the future, the time clause may, wherever the clause which will have the time will never have the future tense, which will have the uh, present tense, simple present tense. Right? That also you have to remember. So, they, let's see some examples. They will have been, they will have been talking for over an hour by the time Thomas arrives. Right? So, you see that where is the time clause given in this? By the time. By the time is the time clause. So, here the time is given. Right? So it starts by the time clause. In the time clause, we will never have the future tense. We'll have the simple present tense. So Thomas arrives. It is in the simple present. Clear? Whereas the something else is what will have been talking. So will have been talking is the future perfect continuous. So future ke liye you have will. Right? Perfect ke liye you have have been. And for continuous you have talking. Future perfect continuous because the action started sometime, will start sometime, uh, will start some at some particular time in the future. 
and it will continuously keep on going on till the second action. So second action will be in the simple present because of the time clause which is given. For is used because over an hour a complete duration is given, right? A complete time is given over here. That is why the for is used. Clear? So let's analyze everything in the sentence as for the rules what you have learned. So that anything, see, it's not necessary they'll ask you the questions only related to the tense. They can ask you related to the second verb also. They can ask you related to the for also. So your concept should be strong enough to solve any question. She is going to have been working at that company for three years when it finally closes. So again, have a look at the first thing what catches your at that company for three years. When is there? So when is a time clause? So in the time clause, we have to use the simple present tense. So here again, the simple present is there in the time clause. Then have a look at for. For three years is the complete time which is given. She is going to have been working. So is going to have been working is the future perfect continuous. Clear? James will have been teaching at university for more than a year by the time he leaves for Asia. So by the time starts the time clause. So it's giving the time frame. So that's why leaves is in the simple present tense. Will have been teaching is the future perfect continuous. Right? For is used because it is more than a year. Complete time is given, not a starting time. How long will you have been studying when you graduate? So when is a time clause? So here graduate is in the simple present. Then it's a question format. So you have long U is coming in between the two verbs of the helping verb. Will have been studying is the subject, uh, the future perfect continuous. So the structure is completely fine and we have understood. We have analyzed everything, right? You know a reason why when is there, why graduate only is there, why this verb is used. Clear? So the point of this slide is in the time clause, when the time clause will be there, we'll use only the present tense rather the simple present tense. When the future perfect continuous may will have will have been plus ing form of the verb. Clear? And this talks about the action which will start in future but it will finish before the second action in the future only. Right? For is used when the complete time is given. But since will be used if the starting time is given. Next one. Future perfect continuous. So future perfect continuous only shows something will start up till another event. So we are still continuing. The fifth example is there. We are going to have been driving for over three days straight when we get to uh, Anchorage. So for over three days is right because it's a complete time. When is a time clause? So we have got the simple present tense get and we are going to have been driving is the Future perfect continuous, right? The sentence structure for the positive will be what? Shell or have, will or shell could be there. Along with that, we can have have been plus verb plus ing. And you can either have the since or for. But since or for will come after the object. Clear? Next slide. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.